Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhere Bagga and today I'll be playing the 5 minute blitz with 0 seconds increment on lead chess. And during the game, I'll try to be as instructive as possible like always, making sure that there's something to be taken away from the game as a learning that helps you improve your game to the next level. Now before we start off with the game, I request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. So yeah, let's quickly start off at the game and see how it goes. We'll have a computer analysis at the end as well. Okay, I'm playing as black, so the Karuka defense, c65. I can take on the pawn. Let's take. Opponent plays e3 next. Then he'll try to capture in the next move. I can just pin his knight for the time being. And play e6 then, blocking the bishop diagonal, just in case he's planning to do some surprise there. The sacrifice. Knight d7. He has connected both the knights so that if I take, he can replace that. But that's not what I'm looking at. I'm looking forward to playing knight to b5 for now. Attacking the bishop. Bishop will probably go here on d3. Now oh, it goes back. Which is okay. I can play. I can play queen to e c7 as well. I can cast at any point of time. Let's fill up the knight. Normal development moves, knight to f6. Of course, he cannot move the knight. Well, he can, and that gives away the bishop. He takes, I take the knight then. Looks okay to me. If I want to exchange, if I don't want to exchange, I can bring back my bishop. Let's bring the bishop backwards. Don't want to give away pieces. Trying to play solid. That's weakening of his king. After he moves the pawn. He's preparing for the next. Uh, e4 as well. Let's bring the bishop back. If he now takes with the knight. I open up the h file as well. So he doesn't. Should take on this knight so that there's no threat of pawn breaking up the c file open up from my side. It's already semi opened. Knight here preparing for folk. If knight here, I can take the knight and then after he takes, I go back with the same plan. It's tough to defend. Oh, he found a nice move. Bishop there. Interestingly. Okay. I think I should simply cancel here. Looks good to me. Ooh. Oh, okay. I have another move. Knight to b4. And I'm going to keep my bishop here next. Or I can take it upon as well. Let's see. And then connect both the knights. Lots of moves available there. Rook can be centralized. Always good if rook in front of the queen. Okay, kicks the knight. So I have to move the knight first. Let's attack his rook so that if he takes now with the bishop. If he doesn't, then is my knight trapped? Is my knight trapped? If rook here, that's what happens. It isn't trapped right now, but in the next move it will be. Oh, it's not. I can take on the pawn, and after he takes with the bishop, I can take back with the queen. This looks fine. I have one pawn there. 
f pawn forward then we move the knight backwards simple okay he is trying to stop me from castling which event which is never my plan i'll attack his knight with the bishop uh, with his bishop with the knight i can castle either side of the board but his pawns are too advanced already they look advanced to me and they can he can push it forward Casting on the king side would make more sense, but can change plans anytime. Be adaptive. Knight here as well. We can go with that attacks the rook. Okay, what if I take the knight first? He takes with a pawn. He gets two double pawns over there. Now I can definitely take on this bishop. Rook in front of the queen. He sidesteps. Knight looks fine, uh, though it's not that active. I can place queen here attacking his rook. Tries to plant his pawn there. Now I can bring the knight backwards to attack his rook. He goes to the side. So now I should castle. I should not castle. Let's castle. It's okay. You can play the pawn forward. Going for some pawn exchange. Let's exchange queens. I don't like his alignment. Let's go here with the knight or here. Um, this looks more active somehow. Attacking the pawn goes there i can now bring my knight here attacking his rook knight comes up to attack and i go here with the knight attacking his bishop some point of time i need to align my rooks okay i can just play pawn to b5 attacking his bishop bishop goes back i can come here if he doesn't take now that comes up with a fork so this is nice so he has to take oh he doesn't and saves the fork as well probably playing on time okay let's exchange I'm the one in advantage, he's not. Folk, take the rook. Time is good enough to checkmate him here. I have to save the knight, give a check. Play pawn forward. Break, open some file. He doesn't, I'll take. Go here, take this. Ah, that's a that's a discover attack. I have to save. Go here, saves the pawn, attack the bishop, check, take the pawn, go here go here ah, i missed the pawn let's go and save okay we can take control
Okay, he saves everything as always. We'll take on the pawn. Time, time. Check. Takes. Check. Go up. Check. Take this. Take the pawn. Proceed. It's a rook pawn, so stalemate. Draw. Phew, that was winning, but at the end, I'll take it as a draw because losing on time, otherwise, could have definitely won this. I had to just place my king forward uh, ahead. I just moved the pawn in, in just a hurry. Otherwise, I can just keep my king on b2 first, not let him come. I'll just quickly explain in the analysis board as well so let's analyze the game from the beginning quickly start over d4 c6 d5 karuk on defense knight on f3 i take on the pawn and then he plays e3 i pin the knight he takes the pawn i play e6 castles bishop on d6 knight d7 Pawn comes to b3. The knight comes down to b6. It good in the same middle game there. Queen to c7 there. And uh, to f6. He's attacking the bishop. I try to defend it. It's f3. I bring back the bishop. Because he was trying to just play a next move, uh, which was e4. So I just bring back the bishop without waiting for him to play that move. And now I take on the knight first, he takes, then knight comes to d5, plays bishop to d4, solid, but then I play knight to b4, tries to kick the knight, I go over there, he tries to find, trap my knight, I take on the pawn and then he doesn't take the bitch knight and proceeds with normal moves. Oh, that's a nice move if he tries to kick my knight. And go back and save the knight, but my pawn will be hanging. But then, yeah, it looks tricky to me because we are opening up the direct attack on the g2. So I won't go for that line. Computer can definitely go ahead and calculate it precisely, but uh, it's very tough for players like us uh, to calculate that as a good move or a bad move. I think it's a bad move to take on g7. He tries to stop me from casting, but then I go back with the knight attacking his bishop. He tries to bring in the knight, and I take the knight first after he takes. Okay, what was the move again that he missed? Bishop over here. I can't take. I have to go back. Now he can take, and I can't still castle. Okay, but if I bring the knight back, then, then he has to go back somewhere. Probably in the same diagonal which he was eyeing earlier. That can be bad. So here and I can now castle. So yeah, it's it's a equal game from there on as well. Just point two in favor of uh, white. But yeah, let's proceed with the game. When I captured the bishop, he takes with the rook. I bring the rook in front of the queen. Queen goes to e1. Now queen to d6 attacking the rook. He saves with the pawn and I attack the rook with a knight. He goes knight, uh, sorry, rook to g5 and I castle. And now queen comes to g3 offering queen exchange. So I took it gracefully. He takes with the rook uh, and now I play knight to f6. Computer suggesting to take and go and exchange down so that you can still. Is that how is it winning? I want to see this. Oh, I cannot take. I cannot take. That's winning for white. I didn't see that. So I just went with a knight to e4. He saves the rook. I attack the bishop. Attacking the bishop with the pawn then. Going with the knight back. Attacking a pawn. Attacking the rook again. I didn't go for the folk. 
Okay, I was looking at exchanging the rook there. And I have to plant my rook in the center, then a fork takes the rook away. I could have taken another pawn there. And then I play f6, which he saves, I take, he takes. I go back, he takes with the king, I had to move the king there, I didn't. He goes up and it's an indirect, sorry, it's a discovered check. So I have to move, he takes the, what was the move to save that? Oh, get the rook in between, because if you do, he takes, you can take with the pawn, pawn is anyway safe. If here, then go back, take on the pawn, and if he just tries to kill your pawn, it's okay, because your pawn is guarded. And then you can just proceed with the king, and this will be completely winning, because this side is closed, and we can take on these two pawns and just close this game. That was one line. I missed that at the end game because of time pressure. I go back, trying to attack the pawn, attacking the bishop, a folk and take on, on the pawn, going back with the knight. I had to save this pawn because I was playing on time. There was some pre moves as well. Going back, he, he's also not taking the bishop, uh, the pawn there. I just take away his, knight, the, his bishop from the game. Uh, then the knight comes. Lots of moves being played in hurry, and then I took cut the pawn finally. He goes back, I come with the knight, he takes the pawn, I give a fork, take on his bishop, and I played uh, knight again, making sure that I just eliminate his all pieces. I take on, is it a draw from here, or I can just still win if I here? King here, I go here, king here, oh, it's a rook pawn, that would be tough. Or if I go here, then of course I cannot, can never do that. So I have to be a bit smart there, if he moves. Is there a way I can win this? Stockfish says no. Probably yeah, a couple of squares there, so extra time wasted there. And I cannot win this. It's a stalemate otherwise. Yep, it's a draw. So, yeah, in fact, I'm happy with the draw. was losing on turn time badly. Yes, I could have turned it around pretty easy. Uh, even here, I'm like completely winning with the end game. I have to just take on this pawn and then there's no way that king is going to reach because I have a knight as well. But there was no time in the game. So I hope you like the game. Um, there was something to be learned. Rook pawns cannot be promoted, mostly, if you play nice and your kings are in the vicinity. I hope you like the video. It's a fight uh, to go to the B2 just in case, sorry, uh, C2. If your king can come to B2 first, then you don't allow uh, the opponent's king to take control of the C file. Uh, so you have to make sure that your the opponent's king remain away from there. I hope you like the video. Do let me know your feedback. Press on the bell icon and like on the channel as well. Subscribe to it. And do let me know your feedback. Thank you so much for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.